The secretly recorded telephone conversations of a former Scorpions boss and how they influenced the decision to withdraw criminal charges against President Jacob Zuma has returned once again to the country's courts. The High Court in Pretoria is hearing the next leg of the DA's six-year-long so-called spy tapes battle to have fraud and corruption charges reinstated against the president. The political, inter the political interference was raised in one, in one form or another on behalf of the third respondent, President Zuma, and which did find favour with the court below when upholding the application. Zuma was charged in 2007 for his alleged involvement in the controversial arms deal and accused of using his political influence to secure contracts for convicted fraudster Shabir Sheikh. Prosecution's boss Mokotedi Mshe withdrew the charges in 2009 following representations from Zuma which included the spy tapes, the secretly recorded conversations of then Scorpion's head Leonard McCarthy. Advocate Sean Rosenberg told the court that Mshe's decision was an emotional and irrational one made only after listening to the spy tapes. He says days earlier the prosecuting team and independent legal counsel had met and agreed that the case against Zuma was strong. Rosenberg says the president would not have been prejudiced if the case proceeded. The NPA has argued that McCarthy's conduct should not be minimized and that he manipulated the prosecutorial process in an attempt to influence the ANC's Polokwane conference in December 2007. The matter is expected to be heard until Thursday. Barry Bateman, Eyewitness News, Pretoria.